things. But that essentially is going to take competition out of the market and it's going to make our local companies less innovative than before. The American state of California has traditionally been associated with economic prosperity, technological innovation, and opportunity. However, the state is experiencing a decline in its competitiveness, with many individuals and firms leaving for other states in the US. Why is this, and what lessons can be learned from the experience in California for us here in South Africa? Well, joining me to discuss is Gabran van Heerden. He's the Deputy Head of Research at the CRA. So, Harry, what is happening in California? What is causing so many people to leave the state? So there is definitely an exodus of businesses leaving California for other states such as Texas, Florida, and Arizona. In fact, 74 companies have left California just within the first six months of 2021. And in the last three years, since 2018, there have been a total of 270 companies that have left California for greener pastures elsewhere in the United States. Now, why is this happening to California? Because as we all know, California is known as the Golden State. It is home to Silicon Valley. It has for many years been home to some of the world's most uh, advanced and biggest technology firms. Um, well, the reason cited by many business owners and by many workers leaving California is the state's very harsh regulatory environment. Now, California, for example, has the second highest overall tax burden in the United States. Also, the Mercatus Center from the George Mason University have stated that California is the most regulated state in the entire country with around 400 thousand regulations being implemented in California alone. And so because of these reasons, many businesses find it very difficult to continue doing business on a sustainable basis in the state. And they have now led to other states such as Texas and Florida, states which have a lot more economic freedom. Okay, so Kerry, that's very interesting. But how does that impact on us in South Africa? What lessons can be drawn from that experience, are we seeing similar trends at play in SA? Now, South Africa is actually walking in California's shoes. South Africa is making the very same mistakes. Now, there's not a lot of uh, similarities between the, the two regions or territories, but what they do have in common is their hostility towards business. Now, South Africa has suffered for years um, from a very harsh regulatory environment that makes it difficult for businesses to keep their doors open in this country. I will, for example, list the mining charter. The, the, the mining charter uh, contains various broad-based Black economic empowerment requirements that have really hurt the mining industry and scared away investment. And it's a shame because the mining industry is one of our biggest employers in this country. We've also recently seen an announcement of an increase in the national minimum wage again. This is going to make labor even more expensive and make it more difficult for employers and businesses to retain their current staff and to attract uh, or to, to, to get more workers. Um, also, uh, the Energy Regulations Act has for many years prevented private companies and individuals from generating their own electricity. This is despite the fact that the country has lost billions and billions of rands every year since 2007 due to load shedding. The South African Minerals Council have also recently stated that there is a delay in 30 billion rands worth of mining projects and 60 billion rands worth of renewable energy projects because of bureaucratic red tape. Also, when we look at the World Economic Forum's Global Competitiveness Report, South Africa ranks 
very low in terms of its regulatory environment. For example, out of 141 countries, South Africa is ranked 101 in terms of overall regulatory burden. South Africa is ranked 129th in terms of the time it takes to start a business, as well as uh, for the ease of hiring and firing uh, practices. And the country is ranked 134th in terms of its flexibility of wage determination. Now, despite all of the evidence that shows that regulation is really hurting South Africa's uh, vast economic potential, our government continues to propose and implement more regulation. Uh, for example, they have recently proposed the Companies Amendment Bill, which will force companies to disclose the pay gap between top earners and lower earners. That's going to scare away investment. Um, our government is also uh, flirting more and more with the idea of localization um, in order to discourage imports of certain products and to assist local manufacturers and companies. But that essentially is going to take competition out of the market and it's going to make our local companies less innovative than before. And so, unfortunately, South Africa hasn't learned from California's mistakes. So, Khabrant, what is the lesson here? South Africa and California are both very sunny parts of the world with high degrees of regulation. Uh, there must be a lesson in this somewhere around the appropriate level of regulation for an economy. Well, the answer is less regulation. That's what California and South Africa both have to do, is to remove government red tape. There have been numerous global studies, and there are a lot of evidence that show that high GDP growth, as well as a high growth in GDP per capita, correlates with an economically free environment, a market friendly environment, uh, a, an environment that makes it um, easy for business to, to function sustainably. I will just list one example. The Cato Institute in their economic freedom index have shown that the countries with the most economic freedom have on average a GDP per capita of $44,000, whereas the least free uh, uh, economies have a GDP per capita of around six or less than $6,000. So that just shows you how important it is for us to remove or cut government red tape. Khabran van Hirden, thank you very much for joining us on the CRA. Let's hand over to you, our audience. What lessons can we in South Africa take from the experience in California? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more insights from the CRA team. My name is David Ansara. Until next time, take care.